Hey everyone, this is Robert Mack with Irvine Real Estate Link, your link to the information that you need to make the right decisions. So I want to talk to you about a hypothetical scenario. Let's say that somebody that you were doing business with or somebody that you knew was actually going to take you to court and sue you. <clears throat> and you didn't have a great attorney to represent you and your best interest. So what you did was you asked the person who was suing you if you could use their attorney. It just doesn't make sense, right? I mean, why would you use the attorney of the person who's suing you? And that's exactly what happens when you're working with the listing agent to buy a property. A lot of buyers right now uh, are actually calling the listing agents on properties that they see to purchase these properties, not understanding the actual California laws. And, and basically, one myth that I want to talk to you about today is what, what buyers think about working with the listing agent. And a lot of buyers think that if they go with the listing agent, they're going to get a better deal. Whether that's uh, a reduced price in the purchase price or whether they're going to get some commission kickback in escrow, they believe that because the, the listing agent is also representing them, that they'll save money because the listing agent is doing both sides. And that's not the case. The California law states that a listing agent has a fiduciary obligation to represent the seller and their best interest and to help the seller net the most amount of money from the sale of their home. So how can they legally help the seller get the most amount of money or net the most amount from the sale of their home if they're actually helping the buyer save money on their end? It just doesn't happen. And that's one of the biggest myths out there. Now don't get me wrong, I've worked with buyers uh, on my own listings, but I make it clear to my, my, my buyers that there's not going to be any financial advantage of you working with me because I have an obligation to help the seller net the most amount of money. So that's what I want to talk to you about on the video and I want to really talk to you about four reasons why having a buyer's agent fight for you and on your best on your behalf and fight for your best interest is more beneficial to you than working with the listing agent. So the first step is you're never going to have a real relationship with your realtor, the one that you choose. The reason why is because you're going to be jumping around from realtor to realtor. You're going to be doing the research, finding the listings, and calling each realtor from each different listing and asking for their help. So you're never going to really have a real relationship because the relationship's going to be very shallow. You're going to call them, ask them if they have any offers, and see if they can show you the property and help you buy the property. So there's no relationship involved. They don't really understand who you are. They don't understand your goals. They don't understand your family situation. They don't understand what you want to buy, why you want to buy, what your motivations are. They're not going to understand because all they want to do is help their seller sell the property. They're not going to care about your situation. They're just going to care about writing the offer so they can help their seller sell the property. The second reason is you won't have any realtor to count on for information and to fight on your behalf. Like I said, the realtor that's working for the listing agent has one goal, sell that property for the highest amount possible so they can help their seller achieve their goals. You know, if you're jumping from one agent to the next, you're never going to really have an agent to call and say, hey, what do you think about this property? Can you take a look at this property and see if it fits my needs? Can you do a market analysis? You're not going to get that from the listing agent. You're going to need a buyer's agent who understands your situation to help you. Someone you can go to for advice. Someone you can go to that you know you can trust and count on. The third negative of working with a listing agent is that you're going to end up doing all the research. You're going to be checking up on all the third party websites. You're going to be doing all the research, finding out what properties are available. You're going to be going to the different open houses blindly without knowing the characteristics of the home and so much more. When you have a buyer's agent, you're going to have somebody you can count on to go to for information. You're going to have somebody to count on knowing that they're looking for properties for you and they're going to help you accomplish your goals. And the fourth negative is that the realtor that you ultimately choose to work with when you buy a property as you're going through the different listing agents is going to be transactional versus relational. You know, in the, in the real estate business, there are transactional agents and there are relational rela uh, uh, agents. And what happens is, is an agent who's only focused on the transaction and getting the deal done is only focused on the transaction. Whereas if you're working with a buyer's agent who really understands your needs, your goals, and your wants, it's really going to be more focused on the relationship. They've developed a relationship with you. They've asked you the questions that they need to know to help you get from point A to point B and they care about you. They're going to fight for you on your behalf. They're going to negotiate the best price and terms 
and they're going to do what's best for you and keep your best interest as a top priority. You're just not going to get that if you're going to the listing agent and asking them to help you because all those factors that I mentioned, that's what they're doing for their seller. They're not doing that for the buyer. So that's my message for you today. If you're out there looking for a property and you're doing all the work on your own, you may want to reconsider and look into maybe hiring an exclusive buyer's agent for you on your behalf. That way you have a relationship set, you have somebody to count on, and you know they're going to fight for you and your best interest. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, check out my website at irvinerealestatelink.com for so many great buyers and sellers resources. And if you're looking to buy a property and you want to, to talk to an agent, you can always feel free to reach out to us. We'd love to work with you. We'd love to learn more about what you're looking for and help you achieve those goals. And keep in mind, when you're working with a buyer's agent, there's no cost. The seller pays all the real estate fees that are associated with selling a home. So there's no cost to you. Might as well take advantage of it. Thanks so much, and I'll talk to you soon.